Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the HTTP client. HTTP client allowing you to quickly make outgoing HTTP request to communicate with other web application. It makes easy to send HTTP request with data, headers and uh, trivial to integrate with web of services. Now let's see how we can make get, post, put and delete request using the HTTP client. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, let's create a controller. Okay, so switch to the command prompt. And here just type php artisan make colon controller and controller name. Let's say controller name is client controller. Okay, now press enter. Okay, now run the application. So just write here php artisan serve. Okay, now switch to the project and just open end controller. So just go inside HTTP, then controller. And from here just open client controller okay here I am going to use JSN placeholder okay JSN placeholder is a fake online rest API for testing so switch to the command prompt and just uh, browser and just open new tab and here inside the Google simply search here JSN placeholder okay Now click on first link and from here let's use these routes okay these routes so switch to the client prompt uh, client controller and here let's create a function so just write here public function and let's say function name is get all post okay and inside this function just write here response is equal to http okay uh, and here this use illuminate as support search and http okay this one now use the http so just write here http colon get okay and inside this just copy this url okay so just open this slash post okay you can see here these are the hundreds of posts okay now copy this url and just paste inside this get method okay and uh, here simply return dollar response arrow jsn okay Now save this file and let's create the routes for this function. So just go to the web.php file inside the routes. Just open this and uh, here just add the route. So just write here route get and URL which is users uh, sorry posts. Okay. Then inside the big bracket just write here the controller name. Okay controller name is client controller so just write here client controller and also add here client controller okay this one now just add here colon colon class comma function name so just copy this function name get all post and paste here okay also give the name route name so just write here arrow name posts dot uh, get all post okay uh, get all post all right now let's check this so just to the browser and just refresh the page now go to the URL 
slash posts okay now press enter you can see the post okay now get individual post by their id so switch to the client controller and here let's create another function public function and function name let's say post by id okay let's write here get post by id all right and add here the parameter sorry just add here the dollar id okay and here just write dollar post is equal to http colon colon get and uh, inside this get just copy this url and uh, paste here and add slash dot dollar this one this id okay so just write here id and here simply return dollar post and json so just write here json okay now save this file and let's create the route so go to the web.php file and here just write route colon colon get and uri with the post post slash uh, add here the parameter id so just write here id in controller name which is client controller so just write here client client controller okay colon colon class and here just add the function name which is get post by id okay so just copy and paste here and also the name route names so just write here name posts dot get post by id all right now save this file and let's check it so switch to the browser and here just add the post id let's say uh, add id this 12 so just write here slash 12 okay now press enter and here you can see single post okay which id is 12 now change the id let's say uh, it you can see post okay all right now let's see uh, post request so switch to the client controller and here let's create another function public function add post and here just write dollar post is equal to HTTP uh, colon colon method post so just write here post and just copy this URL and paste here okay and add here the comma and just pass here the array okay so just write here in bracket and inside this just pass here user ID okay user id title and body okay so just write here user id arrow let's say user id 1 then title let's say title is new post title okay and body so just write here body arrow sign new post description okay 
and here simply return color post arrow json okay now save this file and let's create the route for this function so go to the web.php and here just write route get add post okay this is the URI and here just add the controller name find controller colon colon class okay and add here the function name which is add post so just write here add post and also give the name so just write here the name posts dot add okay add post now save this file and let's check this so just switch to the browser and just add here add post okay now press enter you can see here new post has been added and their id is 101 okay now let's uh, make the put request okay so inside the controller let's create one more function for the put request so just write here public function and uh, function name let's say function name is update post okay and here just write here response is equal to http colon colon put okay and just write here the URI so just copy this URL and paste here and let's update the ID 1 so just write here the ID 1 post ID ID 1 and here just pass the array and inside this array just write here title and just add the title let's say updated title okay and add the body and this is their value is updated description okay and here simply return dollar response arrow json okay now save this file and uh, go to the web.php and here just add the route so just write here route get uh, slash update post so just write here update post okay controller name Right controller column column class okay and add here update uh, function name update post okay so just copy and paste here just add the name so just write here name posts dot update Alright, now save this file and uh, let's check this. So just copy this URI and switch to the browser and just write here update post. Okay, now press enter. You can see here updated post. Okay. Alright. Now let's make the delete request. So Create another function inside the client con uh, client controller. So just write here public function delete post. Okay. And inside this, just write here dollar response is equal to HTTP colon colon delete and here 
just copy this URI, URL and uh, paste here alright and here just pass the ID as a parameter argument so just write here ID and here just write here dot ID ok and simply return here uh, dollar response arrow json ok now save this file and add the route so inside the web.php just write here route get uh, slash delete dash post ok add the controller client controller column column class right and just write here delete uh, method name function name which is delete post so just copy and paste here all right and add the name here so just write here post dot delete okay now save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser uh, just copy this url and switch to the browser and just add here delete post and pass here the id uh, let's say id is 3 okay now press enter okay uh, 404 no point okay all right just pass here the parameter so just write here dollar id okay now save this file and let's try one more time so just refresh the page and here you can see record has been deleted okay so in this way you can use http client in laravel 8 so that's all about http client in laravel 8 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching